Hello everyone, how are you? How is it going everyone? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depending on where you are, it's good evening from Japan. Alright, it's 7th of January 2020. So a week has been passed since since uh, this uh, the 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 beginning of the year, so how is your days going so far? All right, hi Opia, thanks for joining, and Wasan J Zero Sam, thank you for joining, as always. All right, all right. So let me set up everything here. I've just opened the computer, so hold on. All right. Oh, by the way, did you like the the session yesterday about the Q and A session about Ichimoku? I was, I think I was gonna too fast, was it? <laughs> Maybe I should take time on each questions more. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We've got a few news today. A Euro and data related. Okay. Hi, Muhammad. Hi, Aditya. Thanks for joining, as always. Hi, Crypto. Thanks for joining po from Poland. All right. My buy order on EuroJP already cut loss. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. At least if you could minimize the loss. All right, all right. So Let's see. So in this streaming, um, I will be looking at some interesting pair here. Uh, it's a uh, Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin. Is anybody interested in the cryptocurrency? Well, actually, I don't usually take trades on this pair or on this uh, currency, but um, you know, it might be a good example to just show you what the Kumo is. Uh, you know, uh, telling you about this Bitcoin. And that's why I picked up this uh, currency, cryptocurrency. Just to give you an example, and so that you can apply to other, like you know, any any pairs or any commodities or futures that you are trading. So, because the con concept itself is basically the same, the Kumo, uh, when it's moving down, when it's moving up horizontal, it's all about the same, right? So, and I heard some of you are interested in the Bitcoin and also other cryptocurrencies. And that's why I decided to do this one today. Okay, so let's do this um, right now. So the pair that I'm looking for, looking at is BTC USD. And let's just start from the bigger picture, right? We always start from the bigger picture, just to make sure. So, this is a monthly chart, all right? And when you can recall, if you can recall, just look at the Kumo right now. And how's it moving, right? How's it moving, the Kumo? This is the monthly chart of the Bitcoin and if you look at the Kumo right here, is it moving up or what? In this part, right? You think it's moving up or moving down or horizontal?
Trader Bentayan, yeah, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. Yep, thanks for joining. And beat you, thanks for joining as well. And Aditya, oh, it's banned in India. Okay, okay, so you cannot trade on this pair. But yeah, you can apply the theory to any currency pair, so just think this is just an example. All right. So this one, is it moving up, down, or horizontal? What is your call here? Right, so that you know when you see this kind of pair, whether to take not take trades or not. Right, so this is yeah horizontal, horizontal range, horizontal. Exactly, exactly. Everybody's right. Everybody's right. So everybody knows that this is not the time frame to take trades, right? Because when the kumo is moving horizontal, that means the price can go either direction, up or down. We never know. We never know. The probability is, is like 50-50 per person chance. Well, it's kind of below Kumo right now, so the chance of uh, going lower uh, to the bearish is a little really higher. But we never know. It might gonna break the Kumo uppers again. We're not sure yet. So on this one, we're gonna we're not gonna look at the monthly chart. So we will be going to the next time frame, the weekly chart. All right, so when you look at this weekly chart, what do you see now here, right? When you look at the Kumo here, the direction, so the monthly chart it was horizontal, right? And in this weekly chart, what about this one? Is the Kumo moving up, down, or horizontal? What is your call? All right, what is your call? Hi, Sadiq. Thanks for joining. And I, I encourage you to participate, to type uh, your answers by moving your finger fingers so that it can be the most input, right? Than just listening to my words so that you can remember more. So is it moving up, down, or horizontal? This is again the very simple question. It's not a trick question. So you can answer, right? If you look at the current Kumo right now, is it moving up, down, or horizontal? <clears throat> okay, yeah, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Exactly, exactly, flat, exactly. Everybody's right. Everybody's right. So the Kumo is horizontal now, right? That means that price can go either up or down, right? We never know. We never know. And also, more precisely, the single span two here is being flat too. It's completely flat here, single span two. So that means the market is not really renewing the highs, nor uh, renewing the low for the past 52 candlesticks here. Because single span 2 is actually the mid price of the highest and the lowest for the past 52 days or 52 candles. So yeah, that means the market is completely in a range. The market's got no direction. Right? So in this case the market um, can either move, keep moving up, breaking the Kumo uppers. And by the way, when the Kumo is moving horizontal, the break of the Kumo does not mean really anything, okay? And the price can go to the downside, or it may stay horizontal, right? We cannot really tell from the direction of the Kumo at the moment. And that's why this time frame is not really the one that you have to look at. But rather, we're looking for the Kumo's direction on the market. So on the weekly chart, this is completely horizontal. All right. Do you understand so far? OK. Newsy daughter. 
yeah, um, I might take a look at it later. Okay, so just just focus on this uh, Bitcoin first on this streaming. Okay, so monthly horizontal, weekly horizontal, and we're moving on to the daily chart. All right, on this daily chart, what do you see here now? Right, what do you see here? This is a daily chart of the Bitcoin. And if you look at the Kumo right now, is it moving up or down or horizontal? Which one is it? Just look at the direction of the Kumo, okay? If you just focus on the direction of the Kumo, just answer if it's moving up, down, or horizontal. Again, this is not a trick question, it's simple. And it looks very, very different from the monthly or weekly Kumo, right? Daily. It's got some angle here. Right, downtrend, downtrend, down, down, down. Exactly, exactly. So this is down. The Kumo is moving down, right? The Kumo is moving down right now. So this means the market is on the bear trend. The market is going to lower side, right? So in this case, we only look for a place to sell, right? We're not going to place to buy in this momentum. We only look for a place to sell in this case. So in daily chart, this is bearish. Kumo is moving down. All right, so in this case, we're going we're gonna to take this daily chart as a big time frame, as a major trend, and place sell accordingly, right, by following the major trend, okay? And we're going to look at the lower time frames to capture exactly when to take trades, when to take sell, and look for the trading edge on the market. Right, and so on this daily chart, the market is moving bearish. But one thing you may notice is that if you look at the single span two here, it's becoming flat now, right? It's becoming flat, right? Unlike here, right? Unlike this sloping down, right now, single span two on this bearish Kumo is pretty flat, right? So when the Senko Span 2 is flat, that means again, the market is not really renewing the highs or lows. Right? It's not really becoming um, um, highs getting lower or lows getting lower. It's not really becoming like that. Right? It's not really renewing for the past 52 candlesticks. So this was the highest price and this is currently the lowest price and this is actually the mid price right right in the center of this highest and the lowest for the past 52 candlesticks so that means um so w when the when the single span 2 is flat you have to be you know get worried that the market might be moving upwards and break this flat upwards. Right, that might be one of uh, the things that you have to watch out. When the Kumo is moving flat, the market might be breaking this flat upwards in this case. So, yeah, um, and if you look at the candlesticks, obviously it was moving bearish, but right now it's consolidating, right? consolidating and it's slightly moving up now so we're gonna have to see whether the price will be resisted at this single span one or single span a at this place right we have to watch out first of all if the price is going to be resisted on the lower part of the Kumo here right because it's just touching it right now on this daily chart Okay, but overall, right, overall, it's still the bearish trend. So we're going to look for a place to sell, right? 
We're gonna look for a place to sell. Okay. So, with that being said, let's move on to the 4 hour chart now. Okay, this is a 4 hour chart. Alright, this is 4 hour. And if you look at the Kumo right now, is it moving up, down, or horizontal? What is your call? So now Kumo looks so different from the previous time frames, but if you look at the Kumo right now, is it moving up, down, or horizontal? What do you think it is in this case? So right now that is a Kumo moving up, down, horizontal on this uh, 4 hour chart on Bitcoin. All right. All right, I see up, 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 up. Yep, yep. Um, that's right, that's right. Yeah, it's moving up right now. It's moving up. Uh, if you can look at this um, Kumo right now, it's very thin because the trend is strong. The uptrend is strong, so it's very thin. But yeah, sure, it's moving up. Right, so in this 4-hour chart, it's uptrend, right? But the daily chart was downtrend, but the 4-hour, if you look at the 4-hour, it's moving up. So that means, um, based on the major trend, major daily trend, it might retrace to the downside right, anytime soon. And in fact, there's a Senko Span 1. If, uh, as you have been looking at the daily chart, the Senko Span 1 was like this, right? So. It's right now touching the Senko Span 1 in daily chart, and that's why it might be uh, sub, uh, resisted here, rejected, and may come back to the downside, right? So although you see the 4-hour chart, it's moving up, and also the Kumo is moving up, you have to watch out for the retracement now, okay? Because uh, the market follows the major trend, right? to see the bigger picture first. So in this 4-hour chart, yeah, it's it just start to be bearish, uh, bullish, just start to be bullish. But we're going to watch out for the retracement. Well, previously the Kumo was moving horizontal and it's becoming up now. And even before it was moving down, right? like this. So this is how to capture the market trend uh, based on the Kumo here. It's pretty simple, right? Um, it's a visual, uh, very simple, but it's very powerful to see the market this way. Okay, so in 4-hour chart, it's moving up. The Kumo is moving up. All right. And let's look at the 1-hour chart to further confirmation. Uh, right here, it's pretty obvious, right? It's pretty obvious that it's moving up, right? It's moving up right now. Hmm. The Kumo's moving up. Previously, it was horizontal and slightly moved down, but now it's moving up, right? It's being horizontal. So, one hour chart, it's moving up. However, in daily chart, single span 2 is actually touching on this high right now. So, I have to watch out for the retracement, right? So that means if the market creates like a double top pattern like this in one hour chart, and if the price actually will be resisted, that kind of pattern, and start to go down, then you're going to watch out, right? And after that, what might happen will be 
the Kumo will twist, right? The Kumo will get thinner and thinner, and Kumo will twist it. Senko span 1 and 2 will be twisted, and the Kumo will start to be bearish as the price keeps going down. Right? And sooner or later, the price will be breaking the Kumo downwards. And that's exactly when you want to sell. Right? That's exactly when you want to sell. And at that time, Kumo should be twisted, and it should be following the major trend of the daily chart. Right? So if you see, if you see the price will be breaking this Kumo downwards, that will be a confirmation that the Kumo was uh, resisted at this uh, one hour chart, uh, sorry, daily chart, uh, single span one here, right? By looking at these like formations, like price action here, there may be wicks pointing downwards at a couple of times here, right? Wicks pointing a couple of times uppers, and then the price might go down, right? We never know, we never know. But we, w what we only have to look for is the reversal signal, right? At this stage right now so that you know to to wait and see if uh, if the price will be keep going down as a major trend in daily chart so that will be one of the scenarios that you can create so right now it's touching Senko span 1 on daily chart so uh, it might be resisted here rejected and may keep going down and that's, that's something that you have to watch out. Alright? So this is how we actually create the scenario and combine with multiple time frames with the Kumo here, right? So the Kumo is moving up in one hour chart. So that means we're going to have to wait for the Kumo to be retracing to the downside. And when it happens, right, when it happens, of course, the price will be re uh, reversing to the back backwards, right? And you kind of imagine, right, what will be the case when the price will be resisted here and come come back down, right? You kind of imagine what will be the case when the price will be rejected here and comes back down here, right? You create scenarios that way. So this is where you have to work your imagination, really. But uh, whatever signals, whatever formations you see here for the rejection, then probably you can take trade, right? You can place a sell in, anywhere here, right? So that your stop loss can be minimized and you can extend a bigger profit, right? But if you are away uh, from the PC or a mobile, or if you couldn't, if you couldn't watch the market at this time, when it's creating the formation, then of course you can um, later check the chart and if you see the price is actually breaking the Kumo downwards and if you see the rejection formation here, then you can of course place a sell like at these places, right? Or when it's retracing back up and if the price keeps going down like this and you kind of draw, uh, you know, resistance support line here and then you can place a sell here too, right? Because that means you are following the major trend of the daily chart. Because if the price uh, is uh, resisted here, that means it's being resisted by the single span one in daily chart. All right. Are you with me right now? <laughs> Okay, so this is basically how you can combine with uh, different time frames. So one hour chart, it's moving up right now. So we're going to have to wait until the Kumo to be twisted to the downside, okay? So in this case, both the four hour and also one hour is moving up. We don't look at the lower time frames, like 15 or 5 minutes. I wouldn't look at the lower time frame because it's not a time to escape trades. Okay? <clears throat> so, just in case if you look at the 30 minute chart, it's still moving up, right? This is 30 minute chart and the Kumo is also moving up. Strongly. Very strong, right? 
So that would be one of the scenarios when it's when it's going to be resisted here the the price may be coming back down here in 30 minutes as well. So um, that will be one of the scenarios, right? That will be one of the scenarios when the price will be rejected here, okay? This is something that you can imagine first because the price is right now touching on the Senko Span 1 here on this daily chart. So I was talking about the case when the price is actually uh, rejected here and keeps going down by following this major trend, okay? And most likely, right, uh, the probability uh, for the rejection here is higher because the major trend is bearish. And that's why I, you know, I uh, explained that one first. But we never know, right? We never know. Maybe the price might be keep going up and being inside of the Kumo. And then it, it might touch here, right? It might touch this uh, single span 2 here, right? And at that time, you're going to have to look at the raw time frames like that. And you see other confirmations that the price might be rejected here and keeps going down from here, right, to the downside. And this part right here, you have to look at the lower time frame again and see the formation, chart formation, right, uh, price action or the direction of the Kumo. And further confirm if that was really the rejection or not at here. Or you can actually look at different uh, different like uh, you know indicators. Like you, you can look for dead cross in lower time frames in whatever RSI or stochastics. Or you can look at the Bollinger Bands and when when the Bollinger Bands in lower time frame start to expand uh, right after it's been rejected then the trend might persist to the downside, right? That could be one of the things that you can confirm. So anyways, the important point here is actually Kumo is actually showing the market direction, right? Solid market direction in long term. So it's pretty reliable in that sense. So with that being said, right, or, uh, or uh, you know, with that being in your mind, you can look down to the lower time frames and get further confirmations, right, for the rejections here. In the case of uh, bearish Kumo, in the bigger time frame, you look at the lower time frames and you kind of confirm whether the price action right now is the rejection formation or not. And if you actually keep doing that, then you can actually um, keep trading uh, in a good result. Your, because your stop loss will be minimized and you can extend the profit longer and longer. So if you keep doing that, not only you, know, you get the profit, but your loss will be very minimum. And that's the ultimate strategy if you want to survive in the market for a long run. So that's kind of the the way that you can look at and this is applicable to any pairs that you're looking at. So first you look at the bigger time frame Kumo's direction and when it's not moving up, right? When it's horizontal, then never take trades, right? But look for the direction of the Kumo whether it's moving up or not. First of all, in bigger time frame is the key. So uh, let me just go quickly here. Um, all right, so that, what was it? It was um, um, Newsy data, right? Newsy data. So let's take a look at the Newsy data here. All right. So, okay, this is Newsy data right now and always start from the bigger picture here, right? So if you look at the monthly chart right now, so I'm moving on to the Newsy data. And if you look at the monthly chart right now, which direction is Akuma moving here? 
All right, can anybody answer? What's the Kumo's direction right now? In this uh, newsy data here. All right. So only look at the direction of the Kumo here. And what is the direction here, right? Down, down, range, down. Okay, I see one range and the rest are down. So actually this is a sloping down right now. So you can see that this is the down Kumo here, right? It's going down, it's going down, right? Because the Senko Span 2 is actually sloping down right here, unlike like in the past here, right? Sloping down. So monthly chart, this is moving down, right? This is moving down. So weekly chart, right? Weekly chart, let's look at the direction of the Kumo here on the weekly chart. All right, right now the Kumo start to be horizontal here, right? The Kumo is moving horizontal a little bit. It was uh, like um, moving down in the past. It was moving down, but right now it's becoming horizontal. Um, yeah, or very, very weak bearish. Very weak bearish Kumo, right? But it's not really getting any direction, right? Unlike the past chart that we're looking at. The bearish Kumo is very weak, and this is almost like horizontal. All right. So in this case, we're not gonna take this one. And let's look at the daily chart here. All right, this is a daily chart. And if you look at the angle of the Kumo here, it's moving up, right? It's moving up. It's moving up. So this is a bull trend, right? This is a bull trend. In the past, it was moving horizontal here. It's moving horizontal. But right now, it's moving up. All right, so most likely the market is going up right now. The market is going up right now. And even before that, it was sloping down, right? And even before that, it was horizontal, right? So if you put the arrows here, uh, it was horizontal before, and even before it was going down, even before it was horizontal, like this. So right now the market is moving up on this daily chart. So what you have, you have, what you have to look for is the chance to buy in this momentum, right? Because when the Kumo is moving up, Wherever, wherever you buy, you can be correct. You can be right on the market. Right? Because most likely the market will be keep extending towards the upside. All right. And with that in mind, you can go down to the lower time frames and actually look for the exact uh, buy chance, right? 
trading edge on the market. We have to make sure all time, every time you go from the bigger time frame and get to the lower time frame chart for further confirmation. Right? Looks like the market is retracing now on this daily chart. So in lower time frames, the Kumo should be moving down because the you know past three or four candlesticks are moving down right now. Right? So we have to you have to see the market to be moving up in lower time frames too. So right now it's retracing and that's why the lower time frames like I think the 5 or like 15 will be moving down the Kumo. Um, it's kind of in a range. Uh, recently it's moving down. Let's look at the 30 minute here. Uh, 30 minutes is horizontal horizontal so yeah let's take a look at the five minute chart here and it's slightly moving down right now see so in lower time frames the kumos are moving down because it's retracing right it retracing to the downside here and that's why you have to look for the kumo to be moving up Right to be moving up to confirm if that was a pushback or not in lower time frames. So when so that means right that means when you look at the five minute chart for example and when you see the kumo twist it to the bear kumo right to the bear kumo that means the market is actually pushed back at this place and keeps moving up and as a result you can know that it was a pushback while the market is on the bull trend on daily chart. See? So, yeah, again, right now the trend is moving up. So you only look for a place to buy, right? You only look for a place to buy. And when you see the retracement like this, um, first thing you have to recognize is that uh, it might be stopping soon, right? It might be stopping somewhere, right? The retracing might stop somewhere, but we're not sure exactly when it's stopping. So to confirm that, you know, you can do like many things, right? You can take uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and see the touch over there. Or you can uh, take the Fibonacci line here and you can look at the touch on this daily chart. That could be the confirmation, but you can actually identify it by looking at the Kumo in lower time frames, right? You look at the lower time frame Kumo, and right now it's moving down because it's retracing, right? It's retracing in daily chart, and that's why the Kumo is moving down. But when the Kumo twists it to the up Kumo, that means the market is retracing to the upside, right? Market is going up, pushed back to the upside. And that's why you have to match the direction of the Kumo in bigger time frame and lower time frame to actually capture the major trend. And that can be your trading edge on the market, right? So after the Kumo twist and after you see the bearish, uh, bullish Kumo here in lower time frames, you can be positive to buy, right? But right now it's moving down, right? So you cannot be positive to buy because even if the price is actually breaking the Kumo upwards now, it might be coming back down because it's down Kumo, because it's down Kumo. It might be coming back down. We're not sure, we're not sure. But uh, one thing for sure is the probability of the price to be going down is higher, right? relatively higher than going up because we see the down Kumo here, right? So make sure that the Kumo should be moving up in the lower time frames according to the bigger time frame is a key, right? It's a very key to actually take trades. And 
yeah, as you know, um, I'm not talking about the entry timing, but I'm just talking about the entry direction, whether it's a buy or a sell or hold, right? And I think that's more important, right, uh, than just capturing where exactly to buy or sell. Because if you can capture the market trend correctly, then you can be right, right? Like uh, in this daily chart, if you see the market is on the bull trend, right? Uh, this is a bull trend. When the Kumo is moving up, it's bull trend. And so, but the price is not really moving up like steady, right? It can retrace, right? It can retrace for sure at some point. And right now it's retracing. So the retrace can happen while the market is moving up. But we, we have to be sure exactly when the market will be retracing, right? We're going to get these, these spots here, right? We have to get these spots. But other than that, wherever you buy, you can be right, right? You can be right by buying here. If you buy it here, if you place a position here, if you place a position here, 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 any places, if you have the buy, right? If you have buy any places when the Kumo is moving up, you are still on profit, right? Because the market is keep extending towards the upside. But the important thing is that you have to capture where it's be retracing, right? To the upside again. So when the market is moving down right now, like this, right? People will get, people get worried, right? When the price is going down right like this or maybe it can be going down right to the to the kumo maybe right people get worried about it because you don't know where it can be pushed back again you cannot be positive right where it can it can be pushed back again so to be positive about that you go to the lower time frames you go to the lower time frames like 5 minute chart or 15 minute chart right and you wait right you wait for the kumo to be twisted to the upside right to the upside because until the kumo twists to the upside you can have positive that this uh, 5 minute chart is also bullish you can be positive about that because right now the Kumo is moving down, so this is completely bear trend, right? So even if you see the Kumo is, uh, the price is kind of breaking the Kumo uppers, it may be coming all the way to the downside again. And that's what actually Kumo is telling it. Unless it twist it to the up Kumo here. All right, so that's that's like uh, you know the ad advice for me uh, by looking at the Kumo. So if you're not really familiar with looking at different time frames, what you can start first is just you know pick up one of the pairs and pick up one of the time frames, and just look at the direction of the Kumo, and just get familiar with it, right? Whether it's up Kumo, down Kumo, or horizontal, just get familiar with it. Be able to identify the direction of the Kumo first. And actually, that's the very first step to understand Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Because Kumo is about the market trend in the long term, right? Long term. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen are for the short term and mid terms, but Kumo tells you the market direction in the long term. And that's why this is more. Um, solid, right? This is more reliable uh, market direction to capture it. So, yeah, um, you can open it. You can op open up a chart on whatever uh, chart you're looking at or whatever charts you are trading and just focus on the direction of the Kumo, right? Uh, delete all other lines, like all three other lines or like any other indicators, just delete them and only show the Kumo like this. And just focus on the Kumo's direction first. And then you're going to get lots of wisdom from it. 
So like this, one by one, you can master it, right? If you look at the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, like all five lines, it might be, looks like complicated, right? I, I felt like that when I first started uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo for Trace. I felt it was complete, uh, it, it was complicated, right? Uh, in a lot of lines, right? The chart looks so busy. But if you kind of, you know, uh, take one by one, if you try to understand like one by one, you can combine all these knowledge together to actually uh, make sense about the market. And the very first step you can do is actually the Kumo and its direction because it's so easy and it's so visual and yet it's very powerful to capture the market trend. So yeah, you, I encourage you to open up a chart and just show the Ichimoku Kumo and you know uh, try to capture the market direction or when the kumo is horizontal you decide not to take trade right not to look at that time frame but instead go to lower time frames and see where the market's got its trend by the angle the kumo here so that actually you can extend the profit as much as possible Right, so again, I'm not talking about the entry chance or entry timing uh, on this uh, Kumo Lives, but I'm actually teaching you to see the market trend and actually the way to write on it. The way to write on it. Because that's the most important thing, right? Uh, wherever you buy here, wherever you buy, no matter, uh, you know, you, you find a trading edge or not, right? No matter you have the entry, a perfect entry timing or you, no matter you have like uh, you know entry strategies or whatever wherever you buy right wherever you click the buy button any places you can be right yeah right? you can be still running the profit so actually the trading edge is not really the important thing right the more important thing is actually to ride on a trend and that's what actually Kumo is telling you all about All right. So that was a little lesson here. So I was looking at the Bitcoin and also New Zealand data, but you can take a look at your own chart and find out the market, right? By looking at the Kumo. Yeah, actually, I closed the gold uh, yesterday uh, by the break even, and I'm looking for a place to buy it again. Uh, the gold looks to be uptrend still, so I'm thinking to buy again. But I just closed it with a break even. All right, so I will be doing another live streamings uh, in a few hours. So I hope to see you there. But until then, stay gold. And if you have any questions about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, again, I've got the question form like this. Right, uh, the link is on the description below. So if you click the description and the link, uh, you can open up the form. Th this is by the Google form. It's for free for sure. And you can put the name and all your details. You can type your questions and just click the send here so that it can come to my inbox and I will be answering to your questions. Uh, I did the live streaming on this uh, Q&A session. Uh, based on this question form yesterday, and I think I'm I will be doing it, um, you know, sometime in this week, maybe tomorrow, I will be doing it because I'm I've been getting so many questions like every day, so I have to do it to actually be able to answer to all the questions. But anyways, you can take advantage of this question form if you could not uh, question me during live, or when you were watching my videos at home or wherever, whenever you have any questions, please use this form to send your questions to me. Instead of sending questions to my, you know, like a messenger or whatever, it might be, it, it's the best, right? It will be the best to use this form to send your questions to me so that I can for sure to read and reply to you during the live streaming. All right, so I will again be doing the live in a few hours ago. So, a few hours later, sorry. <laughs> but until then, 
you have a great rest of the day and stay gold. All right. See you on the next one. Bye for now.